Creo Parametric 5.0 added the ability to place helicoil inserts into your model when using IFX, the Intelligent Fastener Extension. Let's take a look at how to do that. But first, I want to show a couple of config.pro options that you want to have set. I'll go to File, Options, Configuration Editor. In an earlier video, I showed you one option for Search Path File. And you want that set to your Creo Parametric Load Point, AFX, Parts, Pro Library, and then select the file search.pro so that Creo Parametric knows where all your different, different fastener models are. The other option that you want to have set for helicoils is the whole parameter file path. And again, you'll set it to your load point, common files, and then AFX text whole. And that contains a number of different whole charts that are necessary for helicoils. Now that we have those set, let's click out of here and to place our fasteners, we will go to the Tools tab. Here's the Intelligent Fastener group. I will click Screw and I'm going to locate it on this cylindrical surface. Let's use the screw head on this surface and my fasteners will be on this surface from the cylinder. And one thing to note is that the cylinder part actually doesn't have holes in it. One thing I like about IFX is that it'll drill the necessary holes for you. Let's click the OK button. And here in the dialog box, we can change the catalog that we're using. I'll leave it set to millimeters. Here we have the thread selected M5. You could use this button to measure a diameter. I'll leave the depth of 25. And here is the new option in Creole 5.0 to add inserts. And from the drop down list, you can choose whether you are using the free running helicoils or the screw lock helicoils. Let's choose screw lock. And then it says, hey, there are several different instances available. Do you want to use one times the diameter or 1.5 times the diameter or maybe two times the diameter? If you want more engagement, I could change it to 2.5. Choose whatever of these different values that I want. I'll use the 2.5. Now let's close out of here. I'm ready to place it so we can click the OK button. And it recognizes, hey, there are some other different patterns in here. Do you want to assemble using the patterns? For its speed and simplicity, I'm just going to place the single instance and now click OK. And it has placed the different components. It automatically generated a datum axis as necessary. Here you can see the group and we have our fastener. Here we have the helicoil. Let's open up this part in its own separate window real quick. And you can see that here we have the hole that was generated from IFX. You can see that it's denoted as such in the model tree. Uh, let's go back to the other window. And so in that way, that is how you can generate fasteners in your model, including helicoil inserts starting in Creo Parametric 5.0. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.